This is probably one of the worst camps back here. With uh, trash and string clips. Mm -hmm. This is the one person we got uh, got connected with Betty today, so I'm hoping she she makes it over to just driven over to the day center, so hopefully she makes it and we can connect those dots. We've been worried about her for years now. Young kid. So, so this, this is technically pri uh, private property owned by uh, Humble Office Education. Um, it's more of a, uh, them taking the lead on this and saying, hey, we've hit a tipping point now, we have to address it. And so once they got heavily involved, um, normally with private property, we will assist them and we'll bring in code enforcement, we'll bring in other community partners, uh, including resources um, to go, one, uh, try to get people connected with housing, uh, addiction support, uh, mental health support, whatever they, employment, whatever they want, if they want it. And then obviously I deal with the, the eventual eviction of folks out of, uh, off the property, and then the cleanup of the trash, which mm -hmm. obviously you've seen a significant. Uh, a lot of calls for service here, a lot of violence uh, going on. So we've had a couple of uh, stabbings that were very close by. We had at least, uh, at least one robbery that was associated with this, this encampment. Um, are people fleeing to this encampment when they're wanted um, and kind of it's a great place to hide and so those are some of the major issues we're having from ulcer service wise and that's just besides the large amount of trash we have and uh, disorder we have in here it's, it's a mess obviously Eureka has different uh, when we look at our Eureka's homeless we have different sections of so in Old Town we have more of the mental health uh, really mental health heavy uh, they have some addiction on board but it's more mental health um, for this population of here it's much much more uh, much more uh, drugs and violence um, as we're those are the biggest challenges we have and then also uh, we've been offering services for quite a while out here uh, we know a fair amount of these people and um, just don't want services at all. The tell us they don't want services or if we set them up for them, there's there's no follow through. Even if we're willing to bring them to services and uh, do an immediate handoff, it's been unwilling to do so. Uh, we've had a lot of issues with trash and environmental being destroyed. And so I'm down here to do the cleanup. Um, you know, the thing is, that, as we know, willingness can't be manufactured. And these folks have been reached out to many, many times for services. And it's really unfortunate and it really hurts my heart that, that we are, people are going to be displaced. But we're doing what we can to be good to our, be good stewards to our environment. And to, again, reach out to people. I've been talking to some people myself as I'm down here, just trying to figure out what we can do to best meet their needs. And yeah, I don't think anybody's happy about this but it's something that needs to happen, so. These are homes! These are homes! People can hear the protesters right now. What would you say to them? If... Um, you know, the biggest thing is, you know, anytime there's, uh, you know, folks that are advocating, um, I really want them involved. Um, I want them to be, have creative ideas. So, you know, if, if you want to advocate for the homeless, which I want you to do, because we want to, we want to help these folks. We care about these folks, um, but we have to also have some, some. We can't have chaos, which we have right now. So, you know, come up with creative ideas, uh, find property, uh, build housing, build tiny houses. Uh, come up with an idea of a, of a, of a well-managed encampment. Think of ideas. Uh, to get people in rehab centers, make those human connections every single day, to know people by name, first name, knowing, hey, this person has A, B, and C issues. In order for me to get help get them stabilized, I need to connect them with this service over here. And then network also with those services so you're all working together from a human standpoint. That's really the secret. And we want those, you know, if fortunately we come out here and protest, that, that's their right. Um, but we really want them involved in this process of really helping people. Because right now um, we have folks just using words and we need people taking actions also and months before we need people taking actions and really helping these folks out yeah.